So I thought I'd do a quick little post and explain how I did my picture slideshow on the blog. And then I thought, well, the easiest way for me to show you is to actually show you. So I made this little video tutorial, and it's going to be real short. But this is basically the same steps you would take whether or not, whether you wanted to, um, to embed a slideshow from Picasa or if you wanted to embed a video from YouTube. Most sites out there um, have an option for embedding, and they give you a little embed code. And um, I'm, I'm about to show you what to do with that code. Um, anyway, let's go ahead and get started real quick here. Flip over. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to log into my Picasa site. Uh, I've used Picasa program to, to manage my pictures, and there's a little web album button which allows you to select a bunch of photos and create a web album. So if I go to, let's see, picassaweb.google.com, and here it brings up all of my various albums, and I've got a few out here. But I'm just going to go ahead and choose the Children's Festival's picture that I, uh, that I took over the weekend. And as you can see, I've got them all ready to go. And I've even gone in, zoom in so you can see here, I've gone in and I've added, um, you know, a little description to each one. And this is an option that comes into play when you're making a slideshow, so you might want to fill it in. But if you look over here to the left, zoom in again, you'll see the, the option for embed slideshow. And I'm going to go ahead and click on that, and here this little help box pops up. Now the very first thing you have is the size. Um, the maximum size of anything you want to post on the Holloman Net blog is uh, 400, and that's that's as big as you want to go. And I typically don't like to go that big. Um, but if you're doing it to MySpace or you know some other blog that's that's within Blogger but uses a different template, your size may be larger or smaller, but um, 288, however, which is what they have for default, is too small. I don't like 288. I actually like 320, and I'm going to show you a little twi trick where you can you can change that yourself. But um, I always start off big, so we're going to start with the 400. Uh, you've got a checkbox here for show captions. That's where it will display those little descriptive texts um, on top of the the image during the slideshow. I usually turn that off, but you can certainly turn it on. Uh, autoplay, that means it's just going to start playing as soon as the web page loads, and I always leave that on. Uh, and then down here, this is the magic code, and it just says copy and paste this into your website. So what we do is we select all the text, and then I'm going to copy it. And then I'm going to go over to, uh, I'll go ahead and hit done there. Go over to Blogger, and as you can see, I've started to create a post. Now the key here is... At the top, you've got Compose and you've got Edit HTML. Um, for the when you go to embed something like this, you have to do it in HTML mode. So I'm going to click on Edit HTML and zoom back out, and then literally I just click on the box and I paste it. Now, if I go back to Compose, hopefully there it goes. It loads the slideshow in uh, and it starts running because that's what we selected. Now. Two things that I do to clean this up just a little bit. Number one, I'm going to go back to Edit HTML, and I'm going to center it. And you do that by adding a center command to the beginning, and then you have to end you have to end the the piece of code with a stop center command. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. And as you can see here, all HTML is all the commands are put within these little brackets: the the less than sign and the greater than sign. And so to start a command, you just put in the word, like right here it says embed, and then at the bottom you want to end it, so it says slash embed. Well, I want to center this whole thing, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the very beginning before embed, and I'm going to do a less than, center, and then a greater than. So I've started my centering, and then if I go to the end, and I do a less than slash center, greater than, so I've now... That tells the com that tells uh, the website to center everything within those two those two markers. Um, now, if I zoom out and I go back to compose, you'll see the effect. See, it's now centered the the image. Now, the last thing I like to do is I, I like to make it just a little bit smaller. I think 400. 
I mean, you can you can leave it at 400. It'll work just fine. Anything bigger, and you're gonna and the margins may mess up. Um, but I actually like it to be 320. So right here within the code, you'll see where it says width equals and height equals. And so if I, whoops, didn't want to do that. If I just change that 400 to 320, I also need to change the height so that the the proportions look the same and the dimensions look the same. Now, for 320, I just happen to know that it's uh, um, <laughs> 214. There you go. And that's just, you know, simple math, cross, multiply, and divide. But 320 by 214 is going to keep those dimensions. And so now if I go back and I click on Compose, there. You see it's just a little bit smaller, and it looks good. Um, and that's really about it. Now you can put a title. This, whoops, this is my post. And if I want to click over here, I can, I can add all the text that I want to the message. Hit enter a couple times. Okay, now you see that that my text picked up the center command that I that I used for the slideshow. And that's not such a bad thing. I mean, that looks pretty good. But you can uh since we're in compose mode, you can highlight that text and then click the um the uh, left justify button and it'll left justify it. In case you didn't know that, that's what these buttons up here are for. You got left, center, all that good stuff. Um there we go. And that's really it. Uh, if I hit publish, then it's published and it's in there and it's good to go. Um, now also too, you can do this uh, from other programs that write to the Holobinet blog. Uh, for instance, Windows Live Writer. And the process is almost exactly the same. Um, I'll put in a title. This is my post. Now, in Windows Live Writer, in order to get into HTML mode, you have to go to, um, uh, where is it here, View, and instead of Web Layout, you want to select HTML Code. Now, if I zoom back out, you'll see that, well, currently there's nothing there. Um, but if I just go ahead and paste my code in, uh, I'm going to do the center at the beginning, and I'm going to do the slash center at the end and I'm going to change my dimensions from let's see the width is going to go from 400 to 320 and the height is going to go from well it's going to go to 214 now if I go back up to view and I choose web layout there it is and I can continue editing my post as I want and that's all there is to it. Um, like I said, you can get that embed code from Picasa. You can get it from YouTube. Uh, you can get it from Holloman Net TV. Um, and you can then embed it into Holloman Net. You can embed it into MySpace, you know, wherever you want it to go. So, all right, that's the quick tutorial.